Welcome to the Mint Gallery. It's the month of September leading into October, which is when the Community Arts Partnership Art Trail takes place. I wanted to take you through the first room, which I rehung and redesigned and repainted for a look at something different. This first painting, uh, 48 by 48, looks pretty representative, I think, of most of my organic uh, nature-based flow paintings but it's the base color that leads into this new approach. And the new approach is both formal and controlled chaos. I'll tell you what I mean. Um, a friend of mine, Gunilla, who's a marvelous painter, once said that uh, she paints in paragraphs. You get an idea and then you elaborate and you do several as opposed to just one. And I work the same way. So this is a paragraph, paragraph of gifts. Another friend was in last night and said they all looked like parcels ready to be sent out in the mail. I hadn't thought of that before. But what I've done is used a very earthy bronze as a base coat and uh, repeated some of the things I've done in the past. Nothing is ever really new. Uh, these strips of poured paint are combined with the um, sweeping arcs that I've used for a number of years, uh, not all the time, but they certainly dominated the heavily colored things that I've been doing the last, last couple of years. That's 48 by 60. So they're all related, none are the same, and I find this combination of uh, super colorful acrylic and ink pores with the arcs and then this bronze undertone uh, to be both calming and stirring. That's probably just me, but that's what I feel. So I'm, I'm happy with these. I don't know if I'm going to be continuing, but the paragraph is finished anyway. I don't know what the novel's going to look like. And the last painting in this room it has a, a kind of a, a funny history. I repainted the background on this. Uh, it was an indeterminate white with drawing on it, and it, it all looked the same. So this bronze background really makes the colors and the funny figures pop. A friend, of, a friend and colleague of mine who has the best shoe collection and biggest closet in Ithaca came over and said, Oh my God, there's my... There's my high heel. And of course I hadn't seen it. Once you see it, you'll never unsee it. And so now it's called Thea Mary's Closet. I hope you can stop by for a socially distanced, fresh air, art-filled little talk next month for Art Trail. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon.